Hello everyone, and welcome again. In this tutorial, we will learn to control internet bandwidth and speed over local network. As said in my previous video, if you have assigned permanent or fixed IP addresses to your home or work computers and devices, then managing bandwidth becomes much easier. As you can see in my DHCP client list that, I have applied fixed IP addresses to all my office computers, and two of mobile devices that I own. The rest of the devices which will get connected will have a least time IP addresses. Once you assign permanent IP addresses to your network devices, you can easily control that how you want to distribute the speed between them by applying IP address ranges. Do remember, this tutorial is just for information purpose as different routers are configured differently. This video will just give you a brief information about controlling bandwidth and internet speed on a specific router. You can read documentation of your router for further reference. So let's see, how to control bandwidth and internet speed among your network. I have total 9 computers, 2 Android mobiles, and 1 additional Wi-Fi router in my network to whom I have applied fixed IP addresses, ranging from 100 to 111. I want, a maximum of 30 devices may get connected to my network, so I ranged it by assigning start and end IP addresses. Basically, I want to limit the internet speed over all these devices, and this feature is very useful especially for internet cafes, where you would like to distribute an equal internet speed to all the devices. But what happens when a customer starts downloading huge files? He occupy the entire speed thus slowing down internet for others. The maximum download speed offered to my internet connection is, 12 Mbps. So, what I want is, a maximum of 4 Mbps speed for my server computer, and 1 Mbps each for all the other devices that I own, which are 11 in total, and for the rest of devices, which get connected to my network, can get a maximum of 2 Mbps in total. To configure this, I click on bandwidth control section of my router. To turn on speed control, I first check this feature, enable bandwidth control. Then I have to specify that either I am using an ADSL connection, or any other type of internet connection. Then the maximum upload and download speed that I want to receive from one port. The egress bandwidth is upload speed, and ingress bandwidth is download speed. Here I enter the maximum values according to the speed I am receiving from my internet service provider. Click the save button to store these settings in route to configuration. The next important part is, creating and setting a rule list for your network devices. Click the rule list, and here you need to specify the upload and download speed rules over the IP addresses. If you don't create a rule list, then each device connected to your network will always be using the maximum speed that you had specified in control settings. So, to add a rule, I click on add new. The most important part in add rule section is specifying the IP address range. If you want to apply this particular rule to a single device, then you only need to enter a single IP address in the first field and leave the second field blank. Like, I want to apply a maximum of 2 Mbps upload speed, and 4 Mbps of download speed for the device name server. So, I enter the corresponding IP address in first field, and leave the second field blank. I don't want to specify any specific ports and protocol, so I leave them default. In egress max bandwidth speed column, I enter 2048, as I have to mention the speed in kilobits per second, and for ingress, I enter 4096 as maximum speed. Then I click the save to store this particular entry. Following the same method, I will add different entries for all the devices and IP address ranges. You only need to take care of one thing here that, as you can see, I am specifying individual entries for each IP address, instead of entering a start and end IP range. 
As I said earlier, I want to distribute a maximum of 1 Mbps each to all the 11 devices that I own in my network. So, if say that, I enter 100 to 111 in the IP address range, and specify a limit of 11 Mbps, then what will happen is, if any of device that fall in this IP address range start downloading a huge file will get a speed of 11 Mbps, and speed on other devices may get slower. Your router will try to distribute 11 Mbps to the connected devices according to their usage. If one device is running, it will get 11 Mbps. If two devices are running and both are downloading stuff from internet, then speed will automatically get divided, but it will not be accurate, and if more devices get connected in the same range, they may face a speed issue. You can finally see my chart here where I have allotted 1 Mbps each to all the devices, and for the rest a maximum of 19 devices that can connect to my network will get a total of 2 Mbps shared internet speed. As you can see, for the rest of the devices, I have specified an IP range, which means, it doesn't matter how many total devices get connected in this range, all of them will get a maximum of 2 Mbps speed, thus not affecting the speed of my network. Before creating rules, I will suggest you to create a speed plan according to your requirements, and speed distribution you want to apply. If you found this video interesting then don't forget to hit the like button, and do share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and take care.